There we go. Right. Uh, so you got your key. So these are tokens here, which we flip when we complete the key, I'm guessing. We have our decks, which I'm going to shuffle my... Actually, wait. Search, because what the heck is an Archeon? Because I just realised, what the heck is an Archeon? Do we have like a... Those are upgrades, artifacts. I'm just looking through my deck because I want to see what it's like. So I have robots, aliens, and... Uh, well, 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 how, how, how do we do that? Right click and click search. Because I'm going to... Creatures, weapons, I'm going to my deck because I just want to see what the... Grids. Huh. Oh, hold on, this is... Oh, there's my card list. I need that out. Because that, cause that just gives me my deck list, which is nice. I'm giving... That's actually kind of nice. So there's a deck list in there you want to take out, Daniel. I do it. Okay. Is there anything else? I don't think we need to take anything else yet, do we? Right, so shuffle my... Right, um... Using this document, so... Let's see, next page. Key concept. The golden rule, the text uh, the text ta of the card takes... Yeah, objective. Use the card to collect amber. Players use amber to forge keys. Game and region ends when player forges a third key. And that player wins the game. Ready and exhausted, running out of tokens. Game set up. Place all damage token amber tokens in a common supply for each player. Each player places the identity card to the left or right side of their play area. I'm, I'm assuming the board just does it all. Hmm? I'm assuming it's going to assume the board does it all. Probably not, because um, I think our identity is this thing here. You know where it says what our deck is? Yeah. Maybe. That's a what? So I'm looking at this. Minus one card, minus two card. I... Okay, uh, well, uh, each player places that any card, uh, each player places three T, which we've done, which is already done. Run, randomly decide who's the first player. You. Okay, if the player plays a series of games between each to go first, uh, each player shuffles their deck and offers you points for additional shoving or final cut. <laughs> okay, I just shuffle my deck. There you go. How much have we as well to since you shuffle mine? And the first player draws a starting card of seven hands, the other player draws a hand of six. So I draw six? And I draw seven. Oh, what? Two, five, six, seven. Can you see my cards? Uh, I'm not. Can you see mine? No. So, yeah, it was just safe. Uh, each player starting with the first player has one opportunity to mulligan their starting hand by shuffling back in the deck and drawing a starting hand with one fewer card in. Um, uh, I'm going to keep mine just because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, fuck it, every card looks great. Okay, so this is how it apparently goes. So we have our identity card, which we put our amber on. Our art and uh, the artifact deck, discard pile. So our discard pile is that um, archive. Or di discard. Why is it two different ones? It must be di so different cards, I guess. Okay, so each turn consists of one, forge a key, uh, choose a house, play a discard or use cards from the chosen house, ready cards, draw cards. So step one, uh, for the players who have to play, yeah. step one, if the active player has enough armor to forge a key during the step, they must do so. That's the key, must. To forge a key, they must spend armor from the armor pool on their identity card, return to the common supply. Then the player flips one of their key tokens over to the forge side. Default uh, cost to forge a key is six amber. Uh, some card abilities may increase or decrease this number. No more than one key can be forged during the step each turn, even if you play to forge multiple. Uh, and how do we get number? We'll probably get that. We'll, we get, we'll probably get to that anyway. So after that, um, move on to step two. Each key forged deck composed of three different houses, which is shown on an identity card. During this step, the active player chooses one of those houses on the identity card to activate, making it the active house for the remainder of this turn. It determines which cards can be played. Discard from the hand or, and use this turn. So after choosing house, the active player has an option to take all the oh, take all the cards in the archives and add them to their hand. Wait, yeah, okay. If the player controls a card that does not belong to one of these three houses on their identity card, they may, if they desire, choose and activate a house during the step instead of one of the three on their deck. A player cannot choose an. Uh, Choose to activate a house unless it's either on the identity card or can control a card that belongs to that house. If a card that instructs a player that they must activate a house other than one of the categories, that card effect is ignored. Well, I'm going to choose um, the Ma I'm going to choose Mars House. I might as well do these steps as we're going along. Right, so you're choosing Mars House. Yes. Uh, player discard used. Active player may 
play or discard any number of cards of the active house on their hand. They may use any number of cards of the active house that are played under their control. Eldritch cards may be played, used or discarded in any order. House is determined in the top left corner. Active house corresponds to the, act the card's icon. Uh, the ca if the Eldritch are played, used or discarded. Uh, rules for playing discarding the cards is first, first turn rule. During the first player's turn, that player cannot play or discard more than one card from their hand. So I can only play one. The active player may not use or discard cards that aren't of the active house unless specified by card ability. So I can only play one of the specified cards, such as... Uh, I'm... You're pretty nice cards there, Andrew. You can't see them. You shame if somebody flips the table! No, I don't know. I'm going to bring out. I've just realised the fucking background of this thing. Yeah. Pretty cool. I know. That's the card I'm bringing out. So, uh, how do I get back to where to my position? I don't know. Yeah, you're bringing out. Grab a jammer. Your opponent keys cost one extra hammer. And fight and reap capture one. Uh, so I guess I don't know how we get... Oh yeah, I know how we uh, there we get um, with cards that have a number of things on them. I guess so, yeah. Okay, so um, ready, right? So then, basically, that's all I can do because I can only play one in the first first turn. First turn rule, or well, first play rule. Uh, step four: the active player readies each of their exhausted cards. Uh, step five: draw cards. If you draw cards from the top deck until they have six cards in hand. After a player completes the step, their turn ends. If the player has more than six cards, they do not dis they do not discard down to six. There's no discard. There's no max ha hand size. It seems. If a player needs to draw cards in during the step or any other time and cannot because the deck is empty, the player reshuffles their discard to reset their deck. So there's no deck out either. When yeah, the player turns end, if that player has enough amber in their pool to afford a key, the player announces check, so they so their opponent knows the fortune key to start the next turn. So uh. One one because there's a play there's a playing cards here. Active players permit to play any number of cards. Upon, yeah, we know that. Amber. Many cards in the game have an amber bonus icon next to the house. When this, with a card with an amber bonus to play, the first thing the active player does is gain that much amber. Mine does not. I don't think does it. No. No, yours does not. Uh, the amber is placed in the player's amber pool on the identity card. Play ability, some cards will have player abilities such such abilities resolve after the amber bonus is collected. Uh, card types as action, artifacts. Creatures and upgrades. So creatures have a power value and an armor value. Uh, there is ah, there's actually positioning as well. And they have to be on the flanks, so they have to go left or right. They can't go in between. Um, each time a creature enters play, it must be placed on the flank at the far left or far right of the controller's battle line. Each time a creature leaves play, shift the battle line inwards towards uh, to close the gap. Huh. Uh, so you can't forge. So what's your house you're gonna do? I want to choose uh, Mars. I believe that's the house. Yeah, that's yeah, the Mars. house I did as well. Yeah. So I'm going to start with. I could have discarded one as well, card. but oh well. Using cards, mm. using upgrades, uh, artifacts, using creatures. Reap any ready creature in the house may reap. When a creature is used to reap, the creature exhausts and control against one plus one amber from their pool. Then all the reap abilities creature has, if they have any, resolve. Huh. Fight. Act, um. Okay, so mine technically would be ready now. So I'm guessing when the creature goes in play, it exhausts immediately. Yeah, they played exhaust. So mine would have been exhaust then readied up. But anyway, so what have you done? Have you done anything? So yeah, sorry, I was reading my cards. Okay. Since I've chosen chosen Mars, I'm going to play Zatzi's the Many. Uh, Fighting Reap you, uh, comes in exhaust, so that means it would be like that first. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. probably not going to be able to do it. Uh, you may reveal a creature from your hand. If you do so, archive it, and he gets, and he gets three plus, and this guy gets three plus one counters. No, which you can't do yet. Yeah, you can play many more cards. You don't have to play one. As long as they're in the house, you can play them. I thought it was only uh, because it was first turn. First turn, I'm, yeah, first player. Sorry, it's oh, player who goes first can only play one. At least that's what I remember reading, anyway. Uh, yeah, here, yeah, first turn rule. During the first player's first, during the first player's first turn of the game, that player cannot play or discard more than one card from the hand. Oh, so I'm assuming this is my first turn. But it's first, just... first player's first turn. So that right. Means you can play many more. 
Then where's the third? Is that the to the right there? The step three. Uh... So I can play and discard many of the cards. Okay, so from the way this sounds like I can play another card, so... So capture uh, I get from your Ironbird pool, okay. So I love how we I both... Know, so what, what have we got? You got you got, two of the, you got two of the same, one different from me, and I got um, barbarian-looking creatures, while you got um, shadow, shadows. Oh, that sounds like a nice um, house. Yeah. So let's play... Uh, find your deck. I would, to be honest, I would love to actually go and make a deck as well if I could, unless yeah, it's all do. random. Uh, the active parts from the hand. Okay, so I'm just, so so if the way it reads, I'm just going to assume the way it is. Then I'm going to play this guy. So I'm looking okay, at I apparently chain, flipped him. Chains. Chains respect the supernatural binds that occurs in specific archons by the artifacts. Sometimes the effect better challenges grow. Sorry, I'm looking at uh, playing again chains through card abilities. When the player gains a chain, that player increases their chain tracker. Each time a player from one or more chains will draw a card of more cards reveal the hand that play draws fewer cards then shreds one chain reducing the chain tracker also oh, chains like a d can be like a debuff yes i'm assuming so uh, and then i'm just going to yes it's like a debuff spell. end that so then i go to step four where i ready my cards yeah okay so oh do to a creature if it destroys a creature purge it i wonder what purging means so i have to search that up as well Right, so ready, and then I draw two six. Yes. So I draw two cards. One, two. Okay. And these cards are that of. Yeah, so these cards are weird. For... So, so I'm going turn. to go with. I'm going to go with. Uh, how do you pronounce Logos this time? Uh, which one's Logos? Uh, oh, it's the uh, tech world. Yeah, it looks like tech world. So, first thing I'm going to do is play a wild wormhole. Play the top card of your deck. That's pretty cool. So, and you get it is. Oh, yeah, I get an amber for it as well. So, first the amber would. Where? Wait, there's amber. So, I take the amber, put it in there. So, then that, then that would resolve. So, then this is my creature that gets played from the top of the deck. Oh, it looks amazing! Hold on. Creature, so. Yeah. So, discard. Uh, next, I'm going to uh, rounding down the loss. Okay, so half. Yeah, I would lose nothing if I have to lose half of my amber, wouldn't I? Yes. Yeah, so that's worthless at the moment. Then. Uh, yeah. Then I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to discard um these two cards, and then I'm going to. Uh, do I want to? F How does damage work anyway with battles and all that? Uh, Come on, example. Uh, those who activate. Oh no. Yeah, I can't do anything with him. I can't fight with the alien ones because I never said they're Mars. Yep. But anyway, I'm just sorry. I just want to see what the it would actually do. Hey, damage. Uh... Damage a creature has taken is tracked by placing the damage counters on that creature. If a creature has sent one damage equal to it dies. Ah, so damage creatures cannot reduce their power. If multiple creatures have damage, a single effect. And for example, look at page seven. Uh, come by example. These this is really hard. This is fucking text is really hard to read. Uh, Tom! No, not Tom! Right, I actually oh. get how damage works and all that. So that's fine. Right. So if I, if I was attacking my grabber jabber, it would deal 4 to 1 of them, and yours would deal 3, but I prevent 1 with the armor. So there's always a fit, always a back. Yes. But if it's any higher than your power, your creature, your creature's gone. Yes. So you wouldn't be able to destroy mine, but I would destroy yours. Yes. Okay, so then it goes on to ready phase. So this creature would ready up. 
and I draw up to the hand of six. So you draw three cards. Yep. Okay, my turn. I'm going to declare... Uh, I'm going to declare Mars again. Okay. So you get to use your creatures. Yeah, so I get... So it's mainly because I get to use my creatures. Yeah. I, so I, I, want to, I just want to play the top card of my deck, which happens to be... Yeah. At least I have one amber. So when for Chiki, how many do I need? What six. seven? Six. six. Yeah, six. six. And it's and then it all my gets used and you flip it. But you also Look, so I've got a card in my hand, right? Yeah. Oh, but we'll tell but, you you're see, plus, the, the, uh, plus seven actually because of my grabber jabber. Yeah. Because of the way it's words in my hand, then for your key at a plus nine cost. Reducing it uh, uh, reducing one for each card in your hand. Uh, sorry, forge a key, uh, but its cost to forge it is increased by nine minus the amount of cards in your hand. Yes. So that would be minus five, unless you have draw capability. Uh, yeah. So that would be a plus four, so you'd need plus my one, so that would be a plus five on the six, so you'd need 11 amber on you. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was, that, I was, that's what I was legitimately. Mm. So let's see. I'm going to start by playing my. J um, we'll start by playing my Jammer pack. That's an upgrade, so it attaches to one of your creatures. I'm attaching it to uh, him. Okay, so I just wanted to place it next to him so I can move him. You, should, you can place it underneath him. Yeah, because yeah, that's probably better. The, you have to put the creatures on the left and right, so. True. So, so you know, your, your, your keys cost two uh, plus two. Okay. But uh, since I do, I also gain an amber. Yes, you do. I just realised I just put where he's under. <laughs> so like he's grabbing the amber. <laughs> I'm such a shot. So then I'm going to. That goes on your identity card, Daniel. So sorry. I don't... Yeah, it's just I don't know where I put it. Yeah. So let's then do. Now his fight uh, slash rep. Does that mean reap. I have to does it reap? Does it activate when I attack? Uh, I believe they do. Give me one moment. Fight any creature that may use the house fight. When a creature uses a fight, the creature exhausts control, chooses one creature opponent as a target. Each of two creatures deal damage equal to the power, blah blah. After the fight resolves, if the creature that is being used to fight survives, all fight abilities the creature has activates. So yours would not activate if you attacked my right. any of my creatures. You yeah, that's what I was legitimately thinking. Reap it. To reap it reaping it, you just turn it, you gain one amber, then its effect activates. Right. You know what? Probably the best thing to do here. So I'm going to reap this. So you gain one amber. I'll do that for you. And then it's effect activates. I reveal a creature. Reveal a creature. Card in my hand. You archive it. So that goes. Yeah, what's archive? Uh, archive. In, um, it said before on. Give me one. On choose a house. Um. Yeah, it said choose a house in there. Was it forge a key? I know it said something. Right, archive. A player uh, face down during the second second step of each player's turn. Select uh, select an archive, an active house. That player is pick up one card from the archive. Pick up all cards in the archive pile of of those cards. Right. After this, uh, yeah. So I'm going to place in my. So it's like just more draw. Basically. I'm going to put this in Noddy the Thief. Uh, just there, so you can see. It goes face down, remember? I have a softer shirt, but to so, think yeah. to, 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 to it is a creature. Yeah. That's that's all there is, and okay, then it gets a plus it, one. No, uh, plus, three plus one power counts. So just, do you see these dice over here? Yeah. Just drag one onto, onto it. So, so now it's got a, what, a six? Six power. Right, that's good to know. And your bolter, if he uh, reaps, deal two damage to a creature. By the way, damage does not heal. Yeah, no. So then I'm going to reap you as well and deal two damage to your big, scary-looking motherfucker. Okay, I'll, I'll put the damage on then. So there's a one and a two. Actually, hold on. Do, do these flip? Give me one moment. If I oh, there we go. You can you just click on it and it'll change the token. That's pretty cool. So there's two damage. And then... So I discarded the same house, right? You could, yeah, it has to be the same house as well. You can discard. 
Um, do you know what? I'm just going to end my turn here, so oh, I draw two. two. Okay, so... Boy, whoever shuffled these fucking cards didn't do a very good job. <laughs> well, I'm going to choose Mars as well, since this is mostly what I've got in my hand. This is me, so you can steal a card. <laughs> I don't steal a card, I steal Amber from you. There's a difference. Oh, wait, uh, no, I didn't play deals. So, first thing I'm going to do is play Jammer jammer pack on my Gravit Jammer. Wow, you copycat! <laughs> you big fucking copycat! <laughs> <laughs> Next, I'm going to uh, bring out this guy and this guy. Uh, it's after you play another wild creature, fill the tank. What the hell? This, this guy and this one. He full oh, heals. full heal. Full yeah. heal. So which other cards did you play? Yeah, right, you so played him. Yeah. Next, I'm going to... Oh, do I risk it? No, I'm going to just reap, so I gain one. So you steal one from me as well, and there's, yep. one, and there's one from me. Thank you. It would probably be easier if I probably brought this card over here, wouldn't it? To be honest, let's just, uh, both, of us, both of us play them here, that way... There we go. So right now I have three, you have two. I love the way your background looks, to be honest. I chose white on here. You could... Yeah. <laughs> Which is amazing. I, I liked how it knew what deck you wanted. I just press random. <laughs> yeah, so I chose random. I chose random, but I mean, I chose a white back over here. Yeah. Which is, which is oh, weird. yeah. Anyway, so that would be my turn. So I think, oh, by the way, ready phase. You missed yours ready phase because everything ready's up. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's habit from most I games. Know, I know, I uh, know. Then I draw up to six. So one, two, three, four. Okay, then. So oh, I'm... Wow. Oh. oh, that's actually a really nice one. Wait, uh, hey Daniel, uh, this card here, this card does not, this card sounds overpowered. Destroy each undamaged creature. Yeah, it doesn't sound overpowered. <laughs> oh, what, uh, I need to look up action. Action. To use an action during their turn, the player must exhaust a card. Then the ability resolves, that's it. Hmm. So I'm going to choose. That of what's the name? Uh, 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 Legos. Yeah, Legos. I'm not so called Legos, but I'm going to play Legos. It's Logos, but go on. And I'm going to play the. Right, I um, want to quick look at. What, you, the... what are you wanting to look at? Does not see where. I put... So, do artifacts I just play in... uh, anywhere? Artifacts, 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 artifacts. It mentioned this earlier about cards. Uh, uh, the two type of abilities a player can use with an artifact, action and omni abilities. When a player uses an artifact, they exhaust the card and resolve its ability. So, wait. Uh, so, wait, hold on. If I go back even more, it should say here. Artifacts enter play exhausted, uh, placed in the front, in a row, in front of the player, but behind that player's battle line. Which is explained in the next page. Artifacts remain in play from turn to turn. So I'm going to so, start by playing the artifact. So it's like your okay. pocket universe. You may spend amber on pocket universe with fortune keys. Move one from your pool to pocket universe. Yes. So I wait. I can't steal from your pool when it's on there. Yes. It's the reason I'm playing it. Nice. Next, then I'm going to play Doctor Bookton. Yep. Oh no no. Yeah, just. I need to remember not to hold uh, control, uh, alt, just test it. And I'm also going to play... Uh, I'm also going to play the action, Library of Babel. Which is a... Draw card. Look, it just allows me to draw a card. It's another artifact, that one. It's not a play... Oh, like, so, uh, if... so I can put I can play one artifact, can I? Location, yeah, you need actions, which is discards. Uh, location, stay on the field. Oh. It's good to know, and they, I'm assuming they come in there. Yeah, so you can't use the actual. So you've got you've got an artifact there, which is an item. You've got a location artifact as well. Nice. Yeah, and then I'm just going to discard one card. Mm. I've got my. <laughs> I have that one is... in my hand, just to let you know. Yeah, I just I just don't think as uh, I could just I yeah I could artifact. I mean, not fucking artifact. I could archive one card, but I know. it's not really worth it. And then. 
I turn... And then I draw up to my hand. Right, okay. Uh... Flip, 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 flip. Andrew, you did not shuffle these decks very good. You can't, did you? <laughs> I, yeah, you didn't shuffle mine, bro. You didn't even. <laughs> okay, so... What the fuck is uh, this? What's stunned? Sorry. Uh, stunned. What's that? That's what I'm looking up. I need to look at what stunned actually does. Well, page 9 plus his glossary. I know, I'm looking at. Uh, sp- Enemy. Heal. Taunt. Oh, he was stunned. What? When a creature becomes stunned, place a stun. While a creature is stunned, it cannot fight, reap, or use action. A stunned, ready creature with the action house can be used by exhausting to remove its stun card. So you'd have to use it to remove stun. Hey, Andrew, you're going to declare what you're using. Yeah, sorry, I'm, uh, I was just looking at that quickly. I want to, but before you do anything, let me go to the left. Okay. That's where we need to be. I don't know what to do here. Um, I could do that and I'd give. I could do this house and then just. Where's my turn though? Cause I got no others on the field. Uh... Cause I could do that into something, heal it up. If I do that into that, that would heal it up. Okay, okay, um... So who are you choosing? I'm going to choose Mars again. Right, so you can attack this turn. Yeah. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fight with Grabber Jabber. Jammer. Right. Against your Bolter. Oh, actually, hold on, can I attack? Because I don't know if there's a rule with attacking. Yeah, I don't have a fucking clue. Um... Uh, fighting. Uh, each creature... If a creature cannot fight, if there's no enemy creatures that can be chosen as... So yeah, t- there's no rule about it, it looks like. So, so are you destroying my boulder? Yes, I'm going to attack. So I take three da- I take two damage on mine, you take four, since you have no armor. So he's dead? Yeah, he's dead. He's. He Wait, can't... actually, what is the thing for damage, anyway? It's power and so... power. Power and power, right, got it. So... Yeah. Ne- uh, so I fought, and it's still alive, so I capture one amber from you. Yeah, that's fine. Next, I'm going to um, go in with this creature against your many. So, six to you. Your and I will take yours. I will take. I only take five because I got my, got my one armor. Yep, so yours is not dead, but it's close. Yeah. Next, I'm so going to bar. reap with the Fink Drawn. Uh, I'm assuming the jetpack goes as well. Yeah, it's a... I'm going to reap with the Fink Drone so I may archive friendly creature or artifact from player. So I'm going to archive uh, Crump here. So I'm guessing okay. this damage goes away. Yeah, uh, it's not the. I'm assuming so, but it doesn't actually want to put away yeah. damage. Damage. Alpha. Um, uh, change. Well, damage. Uh, what was damage? Yeah, when the creature leaves for any armor yeah. that creature is gained by your yeah. opponent, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm, go- I'm guessing it just literally goes away. Uh, so then I'm going to play from my hand this Mars creature. So action, yeah, and this then fully heals because of its ability. Yeah, no. Uh, what the heck? Get in. Get inside the damn. Just, just, just leave it out. It's not going to hurt it. Yeah, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to put it flat down though. That's what's annoying me. Yeah. Okay, so um. I was just thinking about it. So that means that that fully heals. And then, then I'm going to play. Oh, I should I play this first. Uh, too late now. I know. Oh well. Um. So I'm going to play this first, and this comes in stunned. You might want to read that one. Taunt. Uh, this creature. The new creation of the Taunt. Enter stunned. Yeah. Right. So can't attack. Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, that one's actually. That, oh, that bully's actually really good. Taunt stores well, some music. Like, how many full heals do you have? Like, <laughs> calm down. 
Okay, so, at least I now have an artifact, an archive card, so I can pick that up on my PS2. Same with you as well. Yeah, I don't know that if it's um, uh, related. No, it isn't. Uh, Daniel, read it again for archives. Especially if you're looking at the glossary, it says... Um, Where's that card? Any, after they select an active house, the active player is p p permitted to pick up all the cards in the archive and add them to hand. I was pretty sure I was reading earlier on when it said archive, you have to be the same type. Of of the house. No, uh, it says here archives. So players fist down, blah blah. Card blaze is only me at the card. Yeah. Uh, during the second of a player's turn, yeah. after they select an active house, the active player is permitted to pick up all cards in their archives and add those cards to their hand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it just means to the active house, isn't it? No, it doesn't. Uh, well, it doesn't really bother me if that, active, <laughs> if that card stays there or not. Yeah, okay, so if I go back, I think it's. It was in step two as well. Yeah, step two. The active player has the option to take all cards in the archives and add them to the hand. Alright, yeah, so yeah, I just assumed it was the same house. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I.